Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove this door panel from a 2014 Forerunner. Um, it's really pretty easy. You want to get a panel removal tool, a flathead screwdriver, and either um, just a Phillips screwdriver to remove three of these bolts, or you can get a, or a, a Phillips uh, screw gun, either, either or. So you want to start by removing the door handle panel here. You want to stick in your your either your flathead screwdriver or your panel removal tool where the uh, locking mechanism is here. Slide it in, and then you're just going to twist, and you'll hear a pop. That's how you know you got the uh, you got the panel out. So that's this panel here. Which I'll be showing you that one there. Behind there, you a have Phillips a... screw. So you want to take your screwdriver or your screw gun. Go ahead and remove that number two Phillips screw. There it is. Now we'll move on to this bottom panel here. Right under the handle for this door panel, you'll see a rectangular uh, cutout here. And that's actually just a pull down panel. It doesn't actually, it isn't actually removable. So you actually just stick your panel removal tool on the upper side, pull down, and then it just pops right out, just like that. And then the last one is this small square area here. You can barely see the indentation here. Let me see if I could uh, zoom in on it so you can get a better look at that one. So that's this one here. Same thing, you're gonna get your small flathead screwdriver. Start from the top and just pull down. It's not removable, it actually just flaps down like that, revealing the number two screw in there. So you wanna remove that one, just like that. Now that all the screws are, are loose and taken out, we're ready to pull away the door panel from the, from the door itself. So when you're holding onto the door, start from the bottom or the top, either, either or, you want to first pull off this, um, uh, the cell panel here. Just by putting your fingers in near the window side and pulling away towards you, just like that. I always like to start from the bottom when I'm re removing a panel. This just makes for your easy removal. You just pop it open like that. You're gonna have some clips that, that uh, come out sometimes. Just pick them up and put them right back into the slots after you're done removing the door panel. After you have the bottom unsnapped, you wanna grab by the handle and pull it up. Just like that. All right guys, here you can see, uh, we're giving you a close up on the back side of the door panel. Here you can see the cable mechanism that uh, we used to. The top one, if I remember correctly, that one is for the lock. And then the bottom one's for the cable. Uh, wait, let me start over. The top one is for the lock, and that's a solid cable. You want to be really careful not to bend it. Well, be careful not to bend either one. The one on the bottom is the door handle actuator, and what that does is when you pull the handle, that's what causes the door to open. So Daniel's here going to show you how to remove those. It's really easy. Just don't bend the cable. Try not to bend them. So if you notice, he's putting uh, pressure on the entire cable. You don't want to take this and bend it because this is a solid wire. Now the other one is flexible, but the same thing, still be really careful with it. You'll see it just slides right out, and that's it. And you're gonna have one harness, that's just a push pin that you need to remove. We wanted to show you the back side of the door panel again, and this is the uh, harness. Pretty easy, but wanna show you guys. Uh, what you're gonna do is, Daniel's gonna flip that over, and then I think, or, yeah, you've gotta basically pinch that, and then it releases from the door. And then you can remove the door panel. Do the same step for the light down below. We just wanted to give you guys a close up. Basically, it's just pinch and release. And then the door panel's ready to come out. After that, as you can see, the door panel's removed. 